week seven and it is way in time. gonna say that those are some lucky numbers two 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 <laughs> i'm gonna put that in my app just to see what the heck i was last week so i don't remember so last wednesday i mean last sunday i was 224.8 today i'm 222.2 .2. a total loss of 2.6 pounds for this week that's pretty freaking good i should say and we're so close to being under 220 pretty freaking good Still had some of my sandwiches left over, so breakfast. It's Sunday, time for our weekly grocery haul. We did Instacart today because we're not trying to leave the house. You ever seen those videos of like that guy that does speed tours for houses, like on TikTok or something like that? We're about to get a speed tour on these groceries because my battery is running low and I just want to continue to do what I was doing while eating watermelon. So, zucchini. Oh, by the way, meals for this week, because we had leftover chicken from my son's birthday party yesterday, we're doing today um, some chicken with uh, sweet potato fries, which we're going to make. Uh, we bought sweet potatoes, and then we're just going to make fries out of them with some homemade coleslaw. And now we're going to make like baked chicken with sweet potato mash and green beans another day. Um, air fried salmon. Um, my typical air fryer salmon with rice and zucchini and then some steak sandwiches later in the week so let's continue on with the groceries um, Instacart the before fees and everything was $125 I think that was the order total um, so brown eggs milk Protein yogurts. This is what I'm going to be having for breakfast every morning. I'm doing parfaits this, this week for breakfast. Pita crackers. I got smart and bought three cans of tuna this time. And this is what I'm going to have for lunch some days this week. Some, a big tub of yogurt for my husband. Cutlery. There's a coleslaw mix. Some lettuce, green beans, peppers, some steamable sweet potatoes, lemons, these sweet potatoes. So I, the reason I got two different kinds is because I wasn't sure how big this bag was going to be. So I got steamable sweet potatoes for like the mash this week just in case this wasn't enough for like the fries and the mash two packs of watermelon which i'm about to eat one now put that to the side chicken that's leaking juices Ugh, gross disgusting salmon celery This is probably the most unhealthy thing of the grocery haul. This shabata bread is for our steak sandwiches. Mm. And then I also got some whole grain bread because with the buffets this week, I may want to switch it up to have avocado toast. And I just wanted something different from the 647 bread. Um, something a little bit denser, crunchier, and I do really like this um, 12 grain whole grain uh, bread. Weekly chocolate chip muffins for my son. Strawberries for the parfaits. And tomatoes. A dinner. Here's um, a chicken breast, some coleslaw, um, and sweet potato fries made in the air fryer. And this coleslaw is made with um, the G Huge uh, low sugar or no sugar um, coleslaw dressing. So yeah, that's dinner. It's Monday, here's my breakfast today. Kind of gonna be breakfast on the go because I have to go drop off my son to his grandparents um, while I work. So I'll check in later. 
not eating anything right now, but I figured I would touch base with you guys while I make myself a little drinkity drink. <clears throat> I got some ice in my cup. I'm gonna put some water. And I bought some like little flavor packets because I've been wanting juice a lot lately. And I have my little flavor waters that I showed you guys from Aldi. Um, but I was like, mm, I kind of want a different flavor. I want something a little bit different. So last week I had gone grocery shopping like late in the week. And I didn't include it in week six because it's not groceries for like um, the weight loss journey. It was groceries for like um, my son's uh, little birthday thing. So I bought this variety pack for C variety pack it's not like sugar-free or anything there's only one that's sugar-free actually in here which is the lemonade I think oh no they're all sugar-free okay they're all sugar-free but they still have some calories but the one that really drew me was this cranberry pomegranate flavor so I was like this would be great to just put in my water to like have some juice so I'm really excited about that that's really all. I think I'm gonna have some tuna for lunch today. And I was gonna have it like on a wrap, like lettuce wraps, do tuna lettuce wraps. I think I might do that. If not, I might just put it on like a piece of bread or something. We'll see how I feel. Cause I am getting a little bit hungry already. And I still have like an hour up until lunch. Cause my parfait was kind of like low. They were like little. Now this is pretty strong. That is strong. Ooh, but it's good. I need more ice. That's good. We'll check in for lunch later. Lunchtime, I made some tuna wraps. You can see my little tuna right through there. And some lettuce wraps. Freaking hungry, but I'm also so tired. I want to go to sleep. I can already see it's getting like cloudy outside. Every time I want to like record, she's always got to eat. And make loud noises. I'm so tired. And this damn hair is so heavy on my head. Oh, I just want to take a nap. So tired. I am going to try to cook dinner a little bit early. I'm supposed to go out later to um, get my ears pierced. Maybe supposedly get a second hole pierced um because it's my cousin's daughter's birthday and she's gonna get a piercing we're all like gonna get piercings together so and we might go out to eat with her as well since it's her birthday so i want to make sure i like cook my healthy meal um early first so that way i make sure my belly's full and that i don't make mistakes when i'm go out or even if like i am hungry that i don't like make big mistakes you know because balance and smart choices you know so and today is we're making like the oven baked chicken with sweet potato mash and green beans so it is lunchtime right now i could possibly start the chicken in like two hours that sounds good. Um, yeah, because now give me enough time to season the chicken, put the chicken in the oven to cook for an hour, then start the sweet potato mash. Yeah, that sounds good. So we'll check in later to do all of that. I just want to jump in here and just say something very random. Because I like to watch, of course, other people on weight loss journeys and health journeys and see if I can get any tips from other people and um sorry because i'm working at the same time but like well like while i'm working i like to watch youtube videos and but anyway i like to just watch other people <laughs> and their stuff and and their tips and this i'm just watching this one girl she's drinking a green drink or like supplements and stuff and she's drinking this thing right now and i forget i already forgot what it was i have bad memory but she's like chugging it. She's like, I just have to get through this. I got to chug it. And it's so disgusting to her. And I'm like, why do you guys torture yourself? <laughs> like, why do you do that to yourself? <laughs> like, I, like, I've said this like many times. I want to make this something that's realistic to me. That when this six months are up, 
I can maintain this. Um, I can maintain the weight loss. I can maintain um, like the meals that I make. Like I can keep making the meals that I make, whatever, and all that stuff. Like that it's easy to maintain myself like after the six months are up. Like something that's realistic for me. And drinking disgusting things are probably not realistic for me. <laughs> but that's just me. <laughs> so why do you guys torture yourselves? <laughs> just a little. I don't know. If anybody else wants to laugh. Here's dinner. I made a rotisserie chicken. So we have a chicken breast, part of the chicken breast, sweet potato mash, and some green beans. Well, they're home. Tuesday, here is brekkie for the day. Same thing as yesterday, parfait. Just put it in a bowl so I can um, mix some chia seeds um, for some fiber and protein. Have my drink. Um, same thing as yesterday. I didn't drink all of the mixture from yesterday, so I just added more water because it was actually very, really strong, um, the little like uh, drink pack. So I think I could do like half of a pack with water. That should be like enough because the flavor is actually really, really strong. But it's good so yeah that's it for today hello you guys it is not morning it is afternoon it is one o'clock and we are now eating the first meal of the day i know terrible <laughs> i just didn't feel like eating anything this morning <laughs> but i'm here trying to figure out what to eat and i'm still feeling kind of breakfasty i just didn't want to eat i think this was a problem so i had said that like this week um my breakfast was going to be like parfait but i wasn't feeling parfait -y today um i wanted um something different um and before i pass out i need to eat something <laughs> so i wanted like an egg sandwich or something right now and i had bought this whole grain bread um to switch up from the natural six four, from that not natural from the usual six four seven bread that just because it is damn near carbless it just doesn't give you that crunch doesn't give you that fluff doesn't give you that like stuff that you normally look for in bread um and that satisfaction like it just doesn't it it's not complete bread it's just not so i got this because i actually do like a whole grain and a whole wheat bread um and i got this mostly just to get more fiber in my body and would you know i was reading or watching this video about how this person drank like two poppies and had the runs because typically in america like americans don't get like the average is they get like 15 grams of fiber in their diet and just drinking two cans of poppy is way more than that so naturally they'll have like the shits and but typically our diets are supposed to consist of 25 grams to 30 grams of protein i mean not protein <laughs> of fiber which i always hit because i actually track my fiber every single day but i'm looking at this damn bread this barely have fiber so yeah, th that Americans only hit about less under 15 grams of fiber because all processed foods get rid of the fiber that is in foods. And I'm looking at this and why does this only have two grams of fiber? Like this is sad and depressing because I got this thinking that there was going to be like fiber and lots of it. Like so this one slice of the spread is 110 calories with only two sad grams of fiber it's depressing and then i'm looking at this beautiful unhealthy white carb ciabatta bread that we bought for steak sandwiches that we're going to eat on friday it smells amazing i'm debating if i should just bite the bullet and just like eat this instead because I was planning on eating two slices of this to make a sandwich, which would be 220 calories. And it would be four grams of fiber, but 10 grams of protein, actually. This one roll of this is 210 calories, three grams of fiber, and eight grams of protein. So it's damn near the same thing but I know I'll be satisfied with this. It will satisfy the cravings. But society has told us this is healthier. 
I don't know. What should I do? So carbs, <clears throat> if I eat two of these, it'll be 40 grams. This will be 43, so this has slightly a little bit more. But I'm gonna eat this on Friday. Should I just wait? Let's just be healthy, let's just wait. I'll be a good girl. I'll put in my toasted toasty. I think I mentioned before I don't like scrambled eggs, but we about to scramble some eggs because that's the only way I like to eat them like in a sandwich. And that's literally all I'm gonna put in the sandwich anyway, is just eggs. I don't feel like doing anything else. Also, <laughs> I feel like I need to do a life update with my YouTube fam, but I don't wanna do it here on the weight loss journey because this weight loss journey is just weight loss. Weight, weight loss, uh, of stuff like so i don't want to put like life updates on here like i want to do a specific video for life updates today i'll be cooking i'll be doing my air fryer salmon so think of what time i want to start cooking i got a lot of work to do today oh my arm i gotta think about what i'm gonna do this weekend I kind of want to just relax and not do anything. I want to be a total bum and do nothing. That's what I want to do, realistically. There goes my toast. Here's my egg sandwich. Ugh, I'm starving. It needs like a tomato. You know what's crazy? I'm not a big tomato person, but I love tomatoes and burgers. And sandwiches but I can't do tomatoes like on a salad or anything else like it needs to be on a sandwich like in between bread but anyway we'll touch base later when we're cooking dinner because I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna eat like lunch like this is my breakfast lunch maybe when I maybe I'll probably eat a snack I think so I will eat a snack all right TT way out Here's dinner, you guys. My air fryer salmon, but hubby made it this time with zucchini and white rice. Usually I do it with lettuce, but we just did zucchini this time. Happy Thursday. Yes, Thursday. Having breakfast at my desk. I have lots of work to do, which is why I'm not checking in from the kitchen as I usually do for breakfast. Um, Yesterday... I showed you guys what I had. I just had um, those two meals, um, nothing else. Um, I always love my air fryer salmon because it satisfies me very, very well that like I don't need anything extra. I did want something sweet and I was about to eat some chocolate cake that I still had in the fridge, um, but I just didn't have the room for it, the space for it. So I'm hoping I could eat some today because I'm really like craving for some. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking for later. It is Friday, <clears throat> and I could not um, really vlog yesterday or today, really. I'm trying to push through it just to not leave you guys hanging. Oof, I'm in so much pain. So, I have a skin condition. The abbreviation is HS. We'll put the complete name here. I've mentioned it before, but I always get these <clears throat> abscesses underneath the skin um, that kind of just go away. They like, they're pretty small and they just kind of go away. But this time I got a really, really big one and I've had it for over a week. And this week it has been very painful. Um, which is why, like, my videos, my daily chickens haven't been, like, that long. Because I know I just can't, like, sit through talking a lot. And yesterday was the worst day of it all. I think because I woke up with every intention, like, I'm gonna go to urgent care. And, um, but I kept pushing it off until, like, midday. I was like, I'm gonna shower, see how I feel. And I showered and I felt good during the shower. But once I got out the shower, I was in tears and just like hunched over and just in extreme, extreme pain. 
So it's actually under this arm right here. And I went to the urgent care, see if they could drain it. Um, they could not because it was so large um, that they basically said you need surgery for it. Um, so that put me in a very like bad mood <laughs> well like upset like depressing mood <clears throat> but I figured that's what they were gonna tell me because I've heard it before um I just never got to that point of needing surgery because some miracle always happens that it like bursts and um like the infected particle just leaves my body I mean this only ever happened one other time when I was like 13 so I'm 28 now and that's what I was hoping would happen, like that it would burst and it'll like drain and it would never come back again. Um, Cause that's what happened when I was 13, like in a specific spot, it would, it drained and like never came back again. Um, Which is why I like held off going to urgent care so much. So whatever. Um, I did eat my dinner though when I came home, ate leftovers from the day before. This morning, however, I woke up in excruciating pain again. I haven't eaten breakfast. I haven't taken my medication because the doctor prescribed me some uh, inflammatory like medicine um, just to reduce the inflammation that should help or like help with the pain, which it actually kind of does, um, which is why I'm even able to talk to you guys right now. The pain is still there, but, excuse me. Um, the pain is still there, but it's not as uncomfortable. I, they also prescribed me a high dose of like Motrin. So I took that this morning, so I didn't want to take it along with the, um, weight loss medication just to not have so much in my system especially because I haven't eaten yet which I need to eat because I really feel like I'm about to pass out but I wanted to update you guys first before I order something because I'm going to order food because I just can't bring myself to make myself anything and I'm in bed but anyway it did burst today Thank God it bursted um, when I went to check on it this morning and I always like cover it up at night because I don't want the skin to rub so when I pulled down the covering it just poured out like it's still a very large mass amount in there so it hasn't completely drained so there's still a lot to go but um there's still a good but the good thing is that it did start to drain so i'm avoiding surgery at all costs so i'll check in with whatever i end up ordering so so earlier i didn't get to show you guys what i eat um because i actually ended up not ordering food my husband came to bring me food he did bring me chick-fil-a um, he gave me the, he got me the number one that it's like the regular chicken sandwich, whatever. Um, so I ended up eating about three quarters of the sandwich. I shared the fries with my son cause he was hungry. Um, and that's pretty much what I ate. Um, now it's dinner time and my husband made some steak sandwiches. So we'll let's see how much I can eat from that. Um, a little update on my situation here. Um, it is still pretty very much leaking and stuff and um i have been still bedridden um because i can't do much movement i haven't had much movement in this arm and it still hurts pretty much so yeah so much for this week it's been a rough week <laughs> I went and got some Chick-fil-A. I got a eight piece grilled chicken with K 
kale corn salad as my side. So I made a better decision today just because I was feeling kind of bloated and stuff. And I think it was part of what I ate yesterday and what I ate this morning. Although I didn't really eat everything that you guys saw in the little clip. Um, too much bread. I like took off the bread. I was eating like the insides, like the eggs. Got rid of most of the bacon. Did not eat any of the potatoes. I also got this honey roasted barbecue for my nuggets. Um, put on top. And the corn salad came with some almonds. You put that on top. And I also got um, Dye Lemonade as my drink. I love their Dye Lemonade. I actually like how big this size is too. week seven right yeah yeah so you guys saw what I had for breakfast and lunch slash dinner well actually breakfast technically was like brunch because it was like brunchy time and then dinner was dinner um and I didn't get to show you guys this but we went to the movies and I had pretzel bites and I had an entire an entire order of pretzel bites to myself with cheese like how <laughs> like I feel guilty about it like so guilty because it's like how did I even do that and I know how I did it and it's because I had two days without taking my medication so I did not feel full I was just like living my best life <laughs> eating those damn pretzel bites um, and it was unexpected to go to the movies it was kind of like a last minute type of thing that my husband wanted to do because otherwise my last meal would have been the chicken with kale salad from Chick-fil-A so mm, kind of not looking forward to weighing tomorrow because I feel like it might fluctuate my weigh-in uh, since they had salt and stuff like that although I always like pick off the salt on pretzel bites but still like there's sodium in pretzel bites so, and like the nacho cheese so I feel like it might fluctuate my weigh-in tomorrow that I'm kind of afraid for um, I'm scared I don't want to weigh in tomorrow <laughs> uh, I know it's just one day but it's like you know like that feeling when you kind of just like you feel kind of gross that's how I feel right now update on my arm situation it's not getting any better uh, Monday morning I'm going to have to call the general surgeon whatever place to make an appointment to have this thing surgically removed because it's just not getting any better the mass is still there um, even though it ruptured only like I want to say probably like 25% of it drained out um, the other 75% is still there um, living and breathing still existing still very painful um, and I still don't have full motion of my arm um, like I can move like my hands and stuff it's just like my shoulder hurts um, like the lower, like that back part right behind my armpit is in extreme pain. So things are a lot harder to do. So I don't know what the heck I'm going to end up doing, like cooking wise for this week. Um, cause I already was kind of like taken out this week. Like my husband cooked the salmon for us this week and he cooked the steak sandwiches also this week. Um, also me and my husband are starting to get a little bit tired of our recipes so that's like another thing like tomorrow is grocery day and we have no idea what we want to get for groceries because we have no idea what we want to make for this week um we don't know what we want to make for breakfast for breakfast so it's yeah it's a little frustrating that we don't know like what to plan out for the coming week 
I did not mention I did have an appointment this week with the health coach on Friday and um I let her know like with the medication I have been skipping meals I don't eat my three meals a day um because I just feel so full to the point of nause nauseousness and she basically kind of said like try not to skip a meal and if you just really don't want to eat a meal because you just don't want to try to drink a protein shake or a protein bar and I'm just like if I really don't want to eat I really don't want to like drink some damn milk like either like a protein shake like I just don't like that would make me even more nauseous like I feel like that would just make me want to actually throw it up because it's liquid and it's like dairy I don't know it's so I told her that and she was just like well then try to eat a protein bar with some fruit uh, at least half a protein bar like just try to get protein in so that you don't lo lose like muscle mass and like I get it I get what she means but it's a lot easier to say it than to do it I'd rather just like skip the meal and just move on <laughs> but we're going to try our best this week I'm going to try and just listen to her and take her word for for it and just do what she tells me to do I just need to figure out what the heck I'm gonna eat this week so that's what I'm gonna just think about as I'm laying here in bed um think about meals I'm gonna scroll through Pinterest and find different something different for breakfast meal prep stuff for lunch because this past couple weeks I haven't been doing too great on like having stuff in the house for lunch like I've kind of just been figuring things out but I need to have more stuff here for lunch I need to do that and then figure out stuff for dinner as well I hope this week doesn't seem so blah I feel like it was kind of blah compared to what last week would have been if my sound wasn't out like last week I gave you some good shit like I gave meal prep um and how to cook my meals that last week um unfortunately everything was soundless and I had to do 40 silvers um this week I didn't show you how to cook anything and just told you what I ate and here I am struggling because I have an abscess the size of a baseball like literally the size of a baseball but anyway i will see you guys on weigh in for week eight that i'm really not looking forward to bye